something a lot like eating a lot hmm. binge eating or watching a lot binge watching which most people that's what BK most people like to talk about binge watching K-dramas <laughs> so when, when you sometimes like, yeah, I don't text you for like three hours straight because I'm watching like three episodes and each episode an hour long it's like watching Civil War all over again because hmm. Captain America was like freaking two hours and thirty minutes long so it's, it's a long time to watch that thanks for entertaining someone has to be entertained <laughs> it's like watching wrestling for three hours straight. Sometimes you just can't get enough of it. Okay. I wouldn't know. I'm not a guy. Girls watch wrestling too. Yeah. I would. I do watch it. But what I'm saying, I can't watch three hours. <laughs> Original. I actually saw something here. Oh. Original. Paris play. Follow. Share. Post. Okay. Let's see. We get these thingies. Get your binge on with Vicky Pass on. No ads, HD exclusive shows. Yeah, exclusive shows. This is enjoy one month free. <coughs> Go to vicky.com, pass on your web browser, click redeem now, use code VP Snack Fever 16. So, Vicky Pass is like the drama fever one that I have. Mm. And then I got a sticker that says Vicky Asian Dramas and Movies, Global TV Powered by Fans. And Drama World. I've seen the, I haven't seen that. Which is uh, supposedly a, a, a U.S. bait. Vicky made its own K drama using American actors. Supposedly, it's like, what if you got stuck in one? Hmm. What if you got like? Supposedly, you're watching a show and you got sucked into the show. <laughs> Something oh, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I think it was a movie. I'm not sure. And of course, then they give recommendations on certain dramas you can watch. I think some of them are exclusively to them. Oh no, they're also movies. Oh, they're movies! Because uh, there's 300 Pounds of Beauty, oh, no. which I've seen already. Uh, which is the only one I think. Oh, My Sassy Girl, which I have. Seen that one as well. Uh, I think I've seen The Man from Nowhere and Ode to My Father. And some other ones. Hmm. Okay. And then Snack Fever Binge Box. I'm just a poster. Green Worth of the, of the Mouth. Huga, meaning vacation. Huga Chalbune Se Yo Jalbo Huga Jalbo Na Se Yo Enjoy your vacation. Well, vacation is over, anyways. <laughs> August is almost over. And, uh, of course, the instruction booklet to see what we have in here. And, chopsticks? Or are they drumsticks? It has a little name. It says Vicky on it. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, it says Vicky. Think chopsticks. Yeah, chopsticks. So they go, uh, they go slimmer. Chopsticks or drumsticks? I was, I was expecting metal ones because Kareem use metal ones, not wooden ones. I have those but somewhere. Same thing. Okay, anyways, let's get this show on the road. Alright, let me open this booklet. See if I can get it out of Okay, here we go. Original box. <coughs> First thing. Poro. Delicious. It's roasted seaweed mm. algae roti. Oh, why am I reading that? That's not English. Hmm. Roasted seaweed. You can mm. have that one. Pororo seaweed. Pororo the penguin knows what's good to eat in the ocean. His favorite snack is this dried seaweed. Light seasoned with sesame oil, salt, and sugar. You need toothbrush after that. Actually, it's not It's not the way you think. It's just, it's, 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 it's very, like, uh, you open it for me. It's like a very thin piece of paper. That's what it is. I know. I have seen it. My sister buys one of my sisters buys these and another brand, of course. Mm -hmm. Is this Caldo brand? I'm fun with that. Yeah, seaweed. Yeah, it looks just like any other seaweed I've eaten. <coughs> It's just this one has holes in it. 
Hmm. I feel someone cheated now. <laughs> oh well. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Uh, it's, it's not bad, actually. It's a little more saltier than the other ones I've ever eaten. Yeah. Actually, if you look at it, it's like a little bit of salt on it. Hmm. Yeah, it's a lot more saltier than regular ones that I've eaten. It even says original flavor, so it means there shouldn't be anything different about it. But maybe they just make it saltier. Who knows? I will never try that. Is it because you can't? It's because I can't. Okay. Because <laughs> I smelt it. Okay. Let's see, does it have shellfish? Yeah, it's it's from around it. it I can't have anything that's near it. Does it have a packet of uh, silica gel? I know that one. Um, I'm looking for the ingredients. There it goes. Ingredients, seaweed, corn oil, sesame oil, salt. Really? One, a, one of my sister had said um, shellfish. You know I think that. it depends the, uh, the, 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 the flavor it gets. Oh. This one just, that's literally all it says. But it does say manufacturing facilities that also process milk, egg, fish, crustaceans, tree nuts, peanuts, wheat, soybeans, and sulfate products. I don't know. From, looks like this doesn't come in contact with shellfish. Oh, I'll still have you freshen up. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, next up. Soy chip. Huh. Soy chip. A close cousin of a family fa family favorite blueberry chip. We were just talking about that as well. Mm -hmm. This is another delicious and healthy snack that packs a lot of fiber. Uh, if you need to go to the bathroom, you do need a lot of fiber. Like a wheat thing. Yeah. It looks like there's salt on it or something. Mm. Okay. Very healthy. I don't really taste anything, honestly. You can taste that. Whatever that is. Um, soybeans. Yeah. I don't know any, you can tell I don't know any of my fruits or vegetables there. Yeah, soybeans. <laughs> soy bean. But soy chip. Hmm. Soy chippy. That's literally what it says. <laughs> not that bad. I mean, it tastes like a little, it does taste like, uh, if you really, I mean, mostly when I eat soybeans, I eat it with a, uh, uh, yeah, I think I've only one time of eating soybean. I eat it with this, uh, with, with uh, soy sauce. Hmm. Or well, was it adamami that I ate? I'm not sure. Probably adamami. I think it's similar to it. Or well, it's the same. I'm not really sure. <coughs> Next up. Oh, these things. This question. Do you drink these ones? When I, ooh, I dropped this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you actually do drink these? I'm not a fan of hot drinks, but I drank them because you gave them to me. Me, these are the Mi Sugaru oh. drink. Korean traditional grain powder. This drink is best for hot summer days to quench your thirst, and it doubles as a quick, nutritious drink before breakfast or between meals. So this is not coffee. <coughs> it's uh, grain powder. Oh. Are you using the coffee, green tea powder, or um, a yogurt mix one? Mm. <laughs> it is, uh, okay. Mi su ga su. It doesn't say much on it. Ru, ru, ru. No, yeah, it's in Korean. Hmm. Simfu.co.korean. Tsound.com. There's not much to it. Let's see how this goes later on. Well, seeing as you drank the other ones, it should be fine. There's no directions for this one. <laughs> um, I'll figure it out later. <laughs> it doesn't really say. Yeah. Uh, how do you drink it? Do you put it in water or do you put it in the milk? I'm going to guess milk. Hmm. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Next up. <sighs> strawberry. Real candy strawberry. It's just not any kind of candy. It's a real candy. <laughs> so real candy strawberry. I can't have candies. That doesn't bother me. 
Real candy strawberry is sweet and creamy strawberry flavored hard candy. It's sweet and creamy? It reminds me of the one that they stopped selling, my favorite one before. Those are like, like I know I've seen those. Show it, it to the camera. Mm -hmm. Wait, where is it? Yeah, right there. That's nice. I know I've seen this before. I want to say like Dove chocolate or something like that. It reminds me of a... Uh, yeah. The one that discontinued. It's, what do you mean discontinued? It had an uh, orange cream one and a strawberry one like in this pack. They used to sell what hard candy is. I can't think of the name of it right now. It's going to bother me. I think I do. I think I know what you're talking about, but I'm not yeah. entirely sure. It, it, looks like a, it looks like a peppermint. It's not peppermint. Does it taste like strawberry? Very, very light. It's more creamy than anything else. Mm. It's probably the creamy part. That was good. Yeah. I know we. I know there's an American equivalent to it. But for the life of me, I can't get it. I'm going to look it up later. I, th so. I honestly think it's Dove chocolate, the Dove brand, Dove chocolate brand. I mean, they sell chocolate, but they do make other things. I think it's that brand, but I could be wrong. Uh, I can ask Priscilla Jones what the name is. <laughs> Next up, <coughs> I swear I gotta be seen this super forks from the CW. Sweet hmm. rice cake cookies. A soft, crumbly cookie with a sweet rice cake center. Another great pairing for tea and coffee. Very, very soft. Ha! <laughs> it looks like an empanada. Sort of. Mm. I'm trying not to break. It's really gummy. Take your bite and then I'll take mine. <laughs> oh, oh and I got it. There it goes. Yeah, that's not going to work. Yeah, I know. So take a bite. <laughs> Whatever's inside does not want to separate. <laughs> it's really, really... Not even the bite. Big, wow. Big jelly. It's spice. Here you go. You can have that piece. That was fun. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It's like marshmallow inside. It's not a marshmallow. That's really good though, even though it was hard to take apart. And now that it was hard to take apart, that thing isn't meant to be taken apart. Yeah, I was like, never mind. <laughs> yeah, it's too soft. The bread is too soft to be taken apart. And the inside's too hard. It's too doughy. Mm, yummy. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like a mix of a gummy bear and a marshmallow. I want more of those. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> but later. So yeah, I guess that's how rice cake tastes. I've never eaten a rice cake. I mean, a spicy rice cake. I wonder if that's the same. Hmm. I'm not sure. Okay, anyways, next up. The Honey Tong Tong. I could have seen, I've seen this before. Honey Tong Tong. Honey Tong Tong corn chip. Our favorite Tong Tong is back. So yes, we probably have had this before. But with <laughs> a new a take finger. on Honey Butter Trend, this is a must try exclusive. Mm. Can you open it? No. I might, wait. I might need that box better. <laughs> Wait, I found a little arrow. Oh, duh. Oh, there's an arrow on it? That's all right. Okay. Good job. Go for it. I know. Mm. Yeah, this... I, well, yeah, I've seen this triangle before. I know we've had this before. We had a couple different types of triangles. Honey tong tong. Honey tong tong. Oh yeah, Whoa. extremely corny. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if I like corn flavored. It makes me think of elotes for some odd reason. Yeah, chips. I want one now from the elote man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it makes me think like I just ate one. But I can't I have braces, I haven't eaten one in a, in a, in a while. Hmm. I, eat, I have to eat them from a cup That's now. That's cool, but... Kind of weird. Because <laughs> yeah. there's honey and, and corn. And that shows I, it's butter, like in, in the be, uh, In the beginning, I taste a little bit of, the, uh, of honey, but in the end, it's like corn. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Mm -hmm. I said nothing but corn. But it's good. Mm. Funny triangle shape. Next up is this box. A choco kit panda make your own chocolate. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I think this is gonna be like last time. I thought it was a really? Don't tell me that. I think so. That was not <laughs> Yeah, how to make a choco kit. Yeah, it is. But this is how to make a panda. Hmm. 
That wasn't too fun last time. Let's see. Because I messed up with my gloves for that one. And then it was like stuck and yeah something it ended up being funny it says pocket choke kit pandas and chocolate this is diy do it yourself snack cute it's just too cute the same Each little chocolate to mold reveals a adorable panda character oh this one's on itself the same little thing oh well, last time i mean when, it's hard sorry no i think it was the last time when we when we opened that box that had that one yeah it was like two weeks two to three weeks old and it was colder right outside and then it got kind of like harder I'm not sure i remember these being harder I'm not sure. I think it's because I, I left them in there so long. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Okay. So, I might... Do we need a box cutter or no? Or we just twist it off? You just also twist it off. Oh, it comes off. It twists off easy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can tell it looks like a panda. Well, part of it. It looks like a very, very scary thing. I'm not really sure. Oh, that, so you put it in the eyes? And nose? I guess so. And then I think you're supposed to put like uh, make ears for it. Hmm. You think you do it? Oh, I think you just fill the inside and put the other part on top. Cause look at it shows like two. Ah, oh, you're supposed. To, oh, there's two pieces of it. Yeah. Various pieces of pandas. You're hmm. supposed to find one with ears and one with not ears. Yeah. Twist, uh, this. Yes. Exactly. And then you just put it all over, uh -huh. right? Yeah. The first step, get the one that's no face. Second step, pour the chocolate on it. Third step, grab the, the, the face the face cookie and put it on top. I think I put a little too much chocolate, but... And then, you smash them together and you get this. That was funner than last time. I think the last time was a lot more complicated. <laughs> because it was to make other things. This is just, you're making a panda face. And apparently it's just too cute, but it's not too cute enough where you won't eat it. That's it. Mm. Oh, bloody hell, it's back in my freaking glove. <laughs> bloody hell. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Cookies, chocolate. Not bad. Yeah. Hmm. I probably have to eat this like tonight because I don't want the tube to make a mess later. Maybe. <laughs> So yeah, that's not bad. Oh, there's a, that's the only thing inside. Yes. So that's the same as a pink one that we got. Hey, if me think, I think that's uh, <coughs> Filipino, actually. Hmm. High Thai. Either Filipino or from Thailand. I think I've seen this writing before. Let's see. Funny, it's a country of origin, Korea. But it has a second language on it. The language, if anyone can help me, I think it's either from Thailand or Filipino. Oh, yeah, that's not the usual. I think it's from one of those supers. Anyways. Mm, now, the special thing about this box is that they give us two ramen instead of one. We get the Pushu Pushu Noodle Snack Bulgogi flavor. <laughs> oh no no no! Oh, this is this ah, that's this fun thing. That like that one time where you yes, just... that that's what this one is. Uh -huh. It says how to enjoy. This one it says it's the Pushu Pushu, the classic dry ramen snack tingled with the flavor of savory Korean barbecue. Smash up noodles, add the powder, and shake it. So yeah, it was how to enjoy. Step one. Smash noodles, step two, sprinkle spicy oh, spices any way you desire. Step three, shake and enjoy. Mm. Well, let's see. Did we eat that last time or no? I can't remember. I think I think so. Because it has a little bulgur you play Yeah, we did. Okay. Is it step one? Smash. Okay. Don't boil it, crunch it. That's it, it is crunched. Now open it. Okay, I'm opening it. <coughs> okay. Now where is that flavor powder? Let's see. Let's see. Flavor powder. I ah, hear it is. Look, I think you just boil this and eat it that way. I think you just eat a regular ramen. Ramen. It's yeah, like it's chips. from Otogi. The same Mexican noodles that everyone eats when they're like poor as hell. 
for college students. <laughs> Open this up. Pour the bulgogi flavor in there. Come on, come on. Make sure all of it goes down. I think that's it. Oh, no, 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 it's not. <laughs> there we go. And next, it says, shake and enjoy. Okay, it's shaking. I think that's good. Stirred. Grab me one. That's kind of big. Take it to a smaller piece. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I don't know how many you want. Just take it like that. <laughs> it's shaking, not stirred. Mm. Okay, right, let's see. I can fit the bowl here in there. Hmm. It tastes like that ramen burger I ate at Red Robin's. <laughs> I mean, that is hard. That thing was hard. It, it, it's funny. That thing was hard on the outside, but soft on the inside. It was weird. Hmm. Yeah, I won't try that. <laughs> I made a mess anyways eating that thing. Yeah, it's okay. I always make a mess eating, so mm -hmm. finally you're normal. And of course, then this one. <coughs> BB Men. BB Men. Really? BB Men. Huh. BB Men. Hmm. What do we mean? BB Men. Let's see. Bimyon. BB Men. A Korean classic for the summer. This soup case. The soupless noodle dish still packs the spicy punch, so be true to pair with the popolo seaweed or other non spicy. Oh! What makes me laugh is it, it has apple juice <laughs> in the soup. Really? Oh, wait, it's not kidding. There's something funny in it. Hmm. Eventually, we'll try that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oriental style soup, Miko Dai Han. It looks like it's Chinese, if anything. Put from the Pablo bread. Fun and yum. Okay. Now there's only one more thing in there, which is always, always the thing. Oh, I didn't see them do there. <laughs> the Iron Supply Drink Pocari Sweat. What? <laughs> Pocari Sweat. It really says that? Yes. Hmm, interesting. Pocari Sweat 2. The Pocari Sweat. A well-known Japanese drink the Koreans love just as much as the Gatorade of Asia, but expect a complete unique taste. Hmm. So it's a Japanese drink, not a Korean drink, but apparently the Koreans like to drink this thing. But it's the Gatorade of it. The Gatorade of Asia. But as far as I know, I wouldn't shake it, honestly. I think it's carbonated. After I start, you tell me. Well, you should have figured most cans that are like that are carbonated. It's fine. It won't explode. I didn't explode. You can try it. It's just sweat. It's like getting you weird. <laughs> well, it doesn't smell weird. It's actually, if anything, it's clear on the inside. I think it just means like when you lose your electrolytes and all that stuff when you work out. Not like taste that way. Just <laughs> I am supplied you. <coughs> hmm. Doesn't quite honestly taste of anything. It, I mean, there's a slight flavor of something, but I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, the bottle wouldn't tell me. The can, I mean. It says, Pocari Sweat is a drink which supplies water and electrolytes lost through perspiration. Pocari Sweat is quickly absorbed into the body a tissue due to its fine osmolality and contains electrolytes. For replenishing body flows, Pocari Sweat is thus recommended as a beverage for such activity as sports, physical label after a hot bath, and even as an eye opening opener in the morning. Hmm. I think it's water but with things in it. Like mm. vitamins. 
like vitamin water, think of it. Oh, yeah, that taste is hard to describe. <laughs> uh -huh. it's, I think it's just water, but the only it is, it has like some kind of like vitamins in it. It's like peachy or mm. almost orangey or peachy. It, remind, not. It, it reminds me of vitamin water, but it's not Gatorade. That's not bad at all. Mm. It's not Gatorade. It's more vitamin water, if anything. Yeah. So, yeah, it, oh, that's all <laughs> it is. I mean, here you can do this. It looks like Coca Cola, but blue. <laughs> See the stripes? Yeah, it does. What color is that? Enjoy. Anyways, that was it. That was actually the oddest one. Oddest drink I've had. <laughs> mm, I guess when you're having a workout, drink some sweat. But drink your own. Yeah. Yeah, I'll say that. <laughs> <laughs>